Yeah, I got two TVs I want to scrap. This one's a diamond DVD and VCR. Wow, this was actually a good one. Hmm. Too bad. Sitting, well, sitting at the house for like oh, uh, four or five days before I picked it up. So, anyways, we'll start. This would have been a unique TV, actually. You don't see usually double double combination like that. It might have been good. Who knows? We'll start with this one, Citizen. What I want to do is just take it apart so I can uh, pull the uh, stuff, whatever, a couple things out. I want to take a take a recycle later. All I want is just to do the yoke and see how the board looks. A couple of minor things. Can I get back in one piece, one piece again? Okay, that's the hard part. Really not, not much in there. When you're doing a TV set, always cut that first. Less chance of getting this like a capacitor holding energy and shocking you, right? It's one thing you have to be careful. yoke. It's got quite a bit of weight actually. Not bad for a small TV. Usually it doesn't seem that good. So that's what you're looking for with that copper. Mm, a little bit of wire. Small circuit board, and there's a decausing decausing cable, which runs around the outer edge. Might have to loosen the tube up a bit. Not that much. Tape there and stuff. So shoot, shoot your copper wire. This one's so thin, I wouldn't even strip it. It's too tiny. It's just like, actually, this I can throw in a better grade wire. It's a single insulated. Okay, so we'll just put this back. And then this wire here, super thin, but it is copper wire. This wire here, it's usually thicker, but there. That's copper wire. So now the circuit board. You were taking out. This is there. Okay, low grade board. Let me pop that off too. It's something I have to deal with later. Spool, a proper spool. It's a little bit more copper there, but I'll leave it. Okay.
That's the problem. Just trying to get it back. Guess that's it. Still a disposal issue anyway, so regardless, those centers, they deal with high volumes of stuff, you can get rid of it easy. Okay, it's ready. Not much in there, but check the yolk later. This is like really low grade, it's like 40%. It's really low. This is probably stainless. Yeah. Okay. One down, pretty quick. This one will probably be a little bit harder because it's got a VCR and more different things to play with. Hmm. Might be a problem. Extension on this, making me the angle I want. And someone's lighting some fireworks off just not too long ago, hearing big bangs and stuff. I'm not picking nothing up. Not really sure what's there. I see there is a screw there. tool they use too much angle always like something right never go smooth One thing I do is take the axe on the side, that's where the bolts are. That was a pain.
Rods and cables right here loose. Right there. This is rusty like it's been outside for a long time, not just, you know, a few weeks, too much rust. Not bad weight. Okay, well, so aluminum, aluminum. The whole module right there. board right there. DVD board. Right there, see? Not too bad.
is a screw up that's pulling. This is a pretty full strip hole. Here's that wire again, it's talking about copper, tin copper, cable. Take it to the recycle center like that. DVD player tin oh spirit so it may have broke down or something who knows Okay, we got these two, two of these uh, things to do here. These yokes. It's actually a way to take them apart, but there's so much glue. I'm just trying to fast forward it. Not super heavy, but still copper. I'm at point. Identical yokes, same kind of brackets, completely same. Could be just standard, but you never know. Stainless here. It's actually not really that heavy of stuff. It's heavy as a unit, but when you take it apart, it's not that heavy. You know, you want to get the rest off here. This mesh right here is less noisy. See? That's iron here. 
the one you just you shred or whatever. Ferrite, iron, magnetic, whatever it is. It's like a tempered, some sort of tempered alloy. That's why it's so brittle. Yeah, so Buffalo had that big snowstorm. So many people died. It's unbelievable. One guy went just to go to a store and pick up food through the storm. Then didn't, didn't make it home. I don't know what happened. He froze or see. Problem is, it's like a hurricane, but it's snow. It's just so much. Uh, you know, the wind, wind and everything, and the visibility. You don't know where you're going, maybe, or you get stranded in, in some snow snow bank. I don't know, but you know, your car won't run after all, you know, because the snow will go so high and your exhaust gets covered. That's what I was doing. I backed up in front of my house, and I guess the snow was high, and I had the car running for about half an hour, and I had so much exhaust fumes in the car. It might have been maybe 15 minutes, but I didn't realize it was almost plugged. Pure exhaust was in my car. Pretty dangerous. Okay, let me just clean the fine bits here and we'll get we'll uh, actually weigh it up. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna see what it weighs. This is copper. Not expecting too much there, it's not too heavy. But it's still something we recycled. Uh, almost three quarters of a pound really not that much considering you know two TV sets but that's what it is these small TVs don't really add up that's my copper just the last day or so four and a half four and a half pounds almost so it's probably more like three and a half pounds probably or almost three and a half pounds a little bit of brass here I'm constantly dumping it. When I have a pile, I dump it. So I always have everything kind of clear here. And if you look at the yard here, this is shred right here. All this here. Adds up fast. Lift the wire here. It adds up pretty quick. See that? That yeah, probably about 45 pounds, probably material. Okay, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, TV stunts, like I say, you're hit and miss. Now I get stuck with this thing here, but I just taken up 
fill a box of light bulbs and everything and take it to the recycle center. They can deal with it. That's what uh, people pay the deposits for. Every TV costs you about four or five bucks recycle fee. So when this TV is purchased, you have to pay a recycle fee. Say it's anywhere from fifty cents to five bucks, seven dollars depends what it is. Same with tires. That's why they take tires for free, electronics for free. You're paid for it before you recycled or you paid ahead of time. Okay, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching.